what's up guys it's your girl fire here and in today's vlog it's going to be more voiceoverish because i have no idea what happened to the audio in a lot of the clips like i'm so pissed about it it's been two days um since these clips have been recorded and just now i'm figuring out that there is just no audio on them so i'm kind of mad about it but whatever i'm gonna narrate it as best as i can please bear with me so the first clip that you've seen was a portuguese sausage spam and egg um rice type of breakfast and they only serve that here in mcdonald's hawaii that type of breakfast was always my favorite so i had to get that in before i left this next clip right here is a zip pack from Zippy's, of course, my favorite place. Um, I used to live right down the street from Zippy's, so we used to go there all the time. But Zip Pack, it just has a selection of meats that's fried chicken, fried fish, spam, of course, and um, terry beef. And then you have the photocopy rice, and it's so good. And then right here is your semi traditional Hawaiian food. I have here some lao lao, and it's just pork and luau leaf wrapped in tea leaf and it's usually steamed and everything and there's usually some butterfish in there there's a real salty fish and pork fat <laughs> it's very fattening but it's so good and then i have here some kalua pork which i've made on my channel before of course very non-traditional but it gets the job done and it's still very good so if you guys want to see how i make my kalua pork lomi salmon check out that video but I have here, of course, some white rice, some chicken long rice, and some squid luau back there. I don't really care for squid luau. Um, it's like luau leaf with squid and coconut milk and probably some other stuff. I don't really care for that, but um, I still ate it. You know, I picked through it. So no Hawaiian plate is ever complete without a side of haupia. Haupia is like a coconut based type of hawaiian dessert it is very custard like and very jello like it's just not translucent like jello but it's good i didn't really care for theirs so i didn't eat it so these are leonard's malasadas with custard my favorite So after pigging out, this was the next day and we wanted to go hiking, but the Lanikai pillbox trail was closed. So instead of just wasting a day, we went to Kailua Beach and it was very impromptu. I wasn't planning on getting in the water, but then I was like, fuck it. You know, this is my first time getting in the water after two years of being gone from home. So I was like, I don't care what i got on i don't care if i don't have a bathing suit i'm getting in the water but please enjoy these clips of how beautiful kailua beach is despite you know <laughs> the rain and the cloudiness overcast over this but it's very beautiful so enjoy So here I was just having a little fun in the sand, letting you guys know that you make snowballs because you are from the mainland and I make sandballs because I'm from Hawaii. Whatever, I'm just talking shit. But at the end of the day, I wanted to show you guys that you can use sand as an exfoliator to take off the dead skin on your body. You know how you have sugar scrubs and coffee scrubs? You can actually use sand because it's very gritty and um, it's directly from the earth like why not and it's free so that's what I was doing here just scrubbing all the dead skin off of my legs and my arms and then of course I went back in the water and washed that all off 
And did you guys know that when you walk on the sand on the beach, it's actually cleaning your feet? Like, if you go and you think you have the freshest pedicure, once you walk on sand and go in the water, like, the salt water just purifies the feet for some reason. I don't know. But that's a little thing that I wanted to share with you guys. But the audio was fucking up. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we're just going to have to deal with this narration right now. Closer. <laughs> <On> the- Whoa! <laughs> wow! Where did you get? <laughs> oh hell! <laughs> so here we are at my auntie's house, and we had a family party. This is my cousin Simi. This is my uncle John. This is my cousin Man. When he was a baby, he looked like a man, <laughs> and um, he got big yabba dabba doo feet. <laughs> but this is him. He's so huge. <laughs> This is my auntie. This is my Uncle Davis. This is my Uncle Wesley. He's huge as well. This is my Uncle Xavier, the scary one. But he flew in from Kauai. He lives in Kauai. And this is his daughter, Zalea. She is actually named after me. She is so freaking beautiful. This is my cousin, Quentin. He is crazy. And this is my cousin's son, Jeremiah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> look, I'm, look, I'm picking up grass. <laughs> That's what I mean. Fuck with me. Jeez, Jimmy. I got knuckles, niggas. Knuckles. You can play you with rings. Fuck, you got rings. You can play bloody knuckles right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, punch knuckles. I don't know. I'm going to bring them all. My auntie's a books little too. taller than hey. me. Hey. No, we're the same height, damn near. Oh, yeah, we are. Hi. I know. Kind of. Yeah, so what? Hey. Yeah, he gonna do that. So of course, after every birthday party, you have to sing happy birthday. We are celebrating four people. My Uncle Wesley, my Uncle Xavier, my cousin Man, and my Papa, which previously passed away and stuff. But um, we still celebrate him. And of course, no birthday party is complete without cracking jokes. You gotta, you gotta... You got to tease somebody, but um, that's why they're all laughing like that. I wish the audio was here because this would have been so much better. Get it. Get it off me. But that is the end of this vlog. Of course, like I said, we all sing together, just get in a circle, played old classic songs, Hawaiian songs, local songs, Samoan songs, whatever we can resonate with and what kind of brings us back. We all just play it. Everybody sing whatever, still drinking at the end of the night. <laughs> but that is it for this vlog. I'm so sorry. This vlog should have been better, but... You know, you got to take what you can get, you know. But um, nevertheless, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.